Let us now look at another game. So, this one is being played between Sachin and Swati. So, Swati has a sweet shop and Sachin sells pastries and they are trying to decide on how much should they advertise. Advertising is of course expensive, so in some sense they would like to keep their advertising levels as low as possible, but advertising also helps them gain market share. So, just like before, their strategies are high, medium and low levels of advertising and the different cells tell you what are the payoffs. The payoffs are actually a little interesting this time around. So, you can see in black we have said 50-50, 60-40, 65-35 and so on. So, what we mean is that the two players Sachin and Swati currently enjoy let us say 50 percent of the market each. Depending upon how much each of them advertises, they can change the market share. If they both have high levels of advertising, then obviously the market share remains as it is at 50-50. Whereas, if Sachin advertises a lot and whereas Swati advertises a reasonable or a medium amount, then the market share changes. Now, Sachin has 60 percent of the market and Swati has 40 percent of the market. So, I hope by now you understand how we have arrived at the payoffs in each cell. Suppose Swati adopts a high level of advertising, then what should Sachin do? Well, the choice is between getting 50 percent market share with higher level of advertising or getting 40 percent of the market share with medium level of advertising or getting 35 percent of the market share with low level of advertising. Obviously, 50 is the best. So, if Swati chooses a high level of advertising, Sachin will also choose a high level of advertising. What if Swati chooses a medium level of advertising? Then again, choosing high is the best because you get 60 percent of the market rather than 50 or 45. And finally, you can check even if Swati chooses a low level of advertising, then the best thing for Sachin to do is to choose a high level of advertising. So, either way, no matter what Swati does, the best option for Sachin is to choose a high level of advertising. What should Swati do? Well, by now you should have realized that Swati should also choose a high level of advertising. And the unfortunate part is, nobody gets extra market share. The market share remains at 50-50 and so, if somehow they could have both refrained from advertising, instead chosen low levels of advertising, they would have maintained that same market share. So, all they have managed to do is spend money on advertising without getting anything in return. So, again this is true or this is another form of the prisoner's dilemma. Now, if you look at this game, there is something interesting going on, in particularly in terms of payoffs. The payoffs always add up to 100. So, consequently in this game, when one person wins or one person gets a payoff, the other person has to lose. So, for instance, if Sachin chooses a high level of advertising and Swati chooses a medium level of advertising, then Sachin gains 10 and obviously Swati then loses 10. So, therefore, you could actually write the payoffs not as 50-50, 60-40 and so on, but you could write the payoffs as 0-0 if nobody gains. In the case of Sachin going high and Swati going medium, you can write the payoffs as 10 and minus 10. So, the thing which you can notice is First of all, this game is a constant sum game. The sum of the payoffs to the two players always add up to 100 in this case. Secondly, any constant sum game can be converted into a zero sum game, whereby wins or payoffs, extra payoffs to one player automatically mean losses by the other. But zero sum games are interesting in the sense that they conform to the standard notion of games that we have, where there are winners and losers. 
and the payoffs for the winners are completely diametrically opposite from the payoffs for the losers. So like most games, parlor games, uh, chess, cards, uh, cricket, football, etc., typically there is one winner and one loser. So in that sense, zero-sum games are interesting or they conform to the our general notions of competitive games. Now it's nice to know also that not all games are zero-sum games and not every situation is necessarily a contest. It's possible that there are winners, that both players are winners or both players are losers.